Lift him up. June 10. Christ delegates power to us. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not. As the Prince of Life, he had power with God and prevailed for his people. This Savior, who prayed for those that felt no need of prayer, and wept for those that felt no need of tears, is now before the throne to receive and present to his Father the petitions of those for whom he prayed on earth. The example of Christ is for us to follow. Prayer is a necessity in our labor for the salvation of souls. God alone can give the increase of the seed we sow. We fail many times because we do not realize that Christ is with us by His Spirit as truly as when, in the days of His humiliation, He moved visibly upon the earth. The lapse of time has wrought no change in His parting promise to His apostles as He was taken up from them into heaven. Lo, I am with you alway, even unto the end of the world. He has ordained that there should be a succession of men who derive authority from the first teachers of the faith for the continual preaching of Christ and Him crucified. The great teacher has delegated power to His servants, who have this treasure in earthen vessels. Christ will superintend the work of His ambassadors if they wait for His instruction and guidance. With an earnestness and faith that will not be denied, they will plead with God that they may be strengthened and fortified for duty and for trial, and that their lips may be sanctified by a touch of the living coal from off the altar, to speak the words of God to the people. The Lord hath given me the tongue of the learned, that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. He wakeneth morning by morning, he wakeneth mine ear to hear as the learned. Christ said to Peter, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desire to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not. Who can estimate the result of the prayers of the world's Redeemer? When Christ shall see the travail of his soul and be satisfied, then will be seen and realized the value of his earnest prayers while his divinity was veiled with humanity. Jesus pleaded not for one only, but for all his disciples. Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am. His eye pierced the dark veil of the future and read the life history of every son and daughter of Adam. He felt the burdens and sorrows of every tempest-tossed soul, and that earnest prayer included with his living disciples all his followers to the close of time. That prayer embraces even us. When all human support fails, then Jesus comes to our aid, and his presence scatters the darkness and lifts the cloud of gloom.